Kabayaki eel is one of Taiwan's favorite Japanese specialties. But the sweet, rich sauce that's usually poured over it is not so great if you're trying to avoid heavy foods. Let's head now to a Taipei restaurant where the chef has dreamed up alternative eel recipes that are just as tasty for a special family member who had to adopt a low-sugar diet. Eel and rice with a simple salt preparation to set off the eel, rather than the usual kabayaki sauce. Have you ever seen an eel with skin as crispy as this? It's like a cracker full of tender eel meat. Take your first bite of eel alone, then add some mustard and nori. Then try it with an onsen egg's delicious creamy yolk mixed in, and finally add tea or soup to make ochazuki. It's eel four ways. Eel is delivered each day, and the chef scrapes it thoroughly to remove any grittiness on the surface. Then lots of little cuts are made to remove the bones. It's hours before the eel is ready to be cooked sous vide. You can see the colloid and the juice is oozing out. Salt is sprinkled on and then it's time for grilling. We present its skin facing up because the skin is so crispy it almost feels like a cracker. Together with the juicy, plump eel flesh, it's a big contrast. The skin is grilled at high temperature, turning golden as eel juice bubbles up from below. The rice is carefully prepared too. Sushi rice is washed and cooked in eel juice to soak up the leftover goodness. There's also a French-style eel liver dish presented with steamed eggs. The chef invented crispy eel for his mother, who has diabetes. After that, she couldn't eat kabayaki at all anymore because it is too high in sugar. That's when I started to want to invent some eel rice dishes based on salt flavorings. When I created it, I immediately gave it to my mom and she loved it. Huang's background is in Western cuisine, but for his mom, he's learned a whole new skill set. 